that we're joined by author and commentator John Stepling, who's with us from Indoroy, Norway. Mr. Stepling, welcome to the program. Uh, give us your thoughts on this recent uh, attack in Kabul, its significance, and also about uh, the timing as well. The, um, the increase in terrorist activity in Afghanistan probably um, is difficult to, to determine in terms of exactly what faction is behind it. But remember, Mike Pompeo was was in Afghanistan recently. There were meetings in Doha and Germany hosted a, a, another conference. And these were peace talks because the idea was, you know, Pompeo had set September 1st as a, as a deadline for drawing down troops and so forth. It was all very unrealistic and it remains unrealistic. But uh, the United States does, it seems, want to get out of this quagmire. They've had boots on the ground since, for, you know, 18 years, since 2001. Uh, but but yeah, there, are, there are tensions within the Trump administration, and a lot of the timing has to do with what the U.S. intends to do with Iran. Uh, they've been trying to draw Europe into that conflict and have them, you know, participate in this naval mission in the Straits of Hormuz and so forth. Uh, so, so there's also the question of of what the U.S. intends to do in Syria. They still occupy a third of the country. The U.S. military is stretched incredibly thin at this point, and and allies are fleeing in mass from any participation in in U.S. ventures. Uh, nobody seems to want to get dragged into into Trump's plans for anything. Uh, what happens in Afghanistan? I mean, the Taliban have become very pragmatic, and the official Taliban, Taliban representatives, they travel to Moscow, they become incredibly sophisticated statesmen in many ways, and, and they have shown, you know, a lot of flexibility in, relative to their earlier stance. Uh, in in terms of drawing up a new constitution and and uh, you know how the the U.S. would hand over the country in quotation marks to the Taliban, who would no doubt be the you know the primary representative of, of a national government. Uh, but but clearly there are there are a host of problems and and violence continues and it escalates and afghan civilians are the people that are paying the price and the us has began its involvement in afghanistan 40 years ago i think we just had the 40th anniversary of of the us's first um involvement in in uh disrupting afghan uh, sovereignty and and you know the real problem goes back to Jimmy Carter and uh, Brzezinski and their their determination to to back Islamic fundamentalists draw the Soviet Union into what they called you know the Vietnam War for the Soviets. All of that history uh, plays into what we see happening today, and and the unpopularity of the U.S. throughout that region is acute. Nobody trusts the United States. Nobody trusts what they say, and there's good reason for that. They tear up deals like the JCPOA. They back out of agreements. They go back on their word. And uh, the other question about timing is that Trump is looking for some good press right now. It's election season. Uh, North Korea turned out to not be good press. Iran continues to be very bad press for the U.S. Uh, there's not a lot of success that um, the Trump foreign policy uh, department can point to right now. And Afghanistan looks like um, another failure at this point. Clearly, there's going to be no peace agreement and, and troop withdrawal by September 1st. That's a fantasy, and it always was a fantasy. 